Hello, sunshines. This is Heather, known as Bunnyfish on Instagram, YouTube, and Patreon. Today is the 6th of January, and I have an idea, and I would like to know your thoughts. So this is going to be a little rambly as I try to figure things out. I did write some notes for myself. So I was thinking, because it's the end of the year, and Christmas just happened, and so we're all like, <sighs> I'm already thinking ahead. I am, not everybody. I am thinking ahead to next year's Advent se season because I had so much fun with it. I'm wearing my Advent cowl today, even with my mask. I just got off of work, but I have to teach a class at the shop. So I have a little break in between, which is when I'm recording, which is why I'm a hot mess. <laughs> anyway, I was thinking... Wouldn't it be cool if someone did an advent calendar where you kind of knew what you were getting, but didn't really know what you were getting? And so that was percolating in my brain for a while. And then I thought that I could do an advent calendar that was a certain shade of green. So that would mean that all of the yarns would be green or mostly green. Um, or like the idea of the yarn is green. Like this is not a specific yarn. This is a, a thought, but like if I found something with a white base, but green speckles, that would count or something that was a green tonal that would count. So that's my thought. So I want to know if anybody would be interested in getting one, purchasing one. If, if yes, then there is a form below. Even if no, even if maybe, there's a form below in the description that is a Google document. And if you could just take a moment to look through, fill it out, help me like fine tune my thought process, because there are some things that, um, some variables that I don't know what people would be interested in, such as, well, let me, let me talk about my plan a little bit before I go into that. Um, my idea is that, you know, if just a few people sign up, then I can just pull green yarn out of my stash. It's all kept in plastic bags um, so that it is pet free. And yeah, it's just kept in plastic bags. So I don't have 24 minis that are green in my stash, but I could break up what I have, purchase a few others. It would be good times had by all. Um, if a lot of people were interested in this, then I would talk to different indie dyers to get them in. Even with that said, I do have some indie dyer friends who I mentioned this to and they're like, oh yeah, I could supply yarn for that. So that would be really cool. Um, so I'm thinking that there would be at least 20 ish different indie dyers involved. If I'm pulling from my stash, some of those indie dyers are no longer dying, but you know, that depends on how many people are interested. So the things that I want feedback on are obviously how many people might be interested. So on the Google form, the last question is you can supply your email address if you would like to be notified when the advents are available. It does not mean that you have to buy one. It just means that you're interested. And if you don't buy one, okay, that's fine. Um, but some questions are, would you want five grams, 10 grams, or 20 grams? Because a lot of indie dyed advent calendars are for 20 grams of yarn and I just don't use that many grams of yarn in mini skein form. So for me, they've never been practical because what I want minis for is mostly mini skein blankets. Um, the notable exception is this cowl, but I didn't have 25 of them. I only had 12. So for me, 20 grams doesn't make sense, but I know a lot of people really like 20 grams. But a 10 gram option would be good for a blanket and five grams is the perfect amount for me for squares. So I want to know what you think about 
sides of grams. All of the yarn would be fingering weight, um, but it would be a mix of bases of 100% wool, 80-20 blend, or 75-25. I wouldn't include any singles yarns in case you wanted to make something. I think the other um, the other blends, as long as they're plied, are similar enough that you could make things, but a single ply just behaves differently than a plied yarn. And then the other like thing is, would people want option or want extras or not want extras or have that be like a little option to have extras? Because, you know, more extras means more cost, but it's kind of fun to get little extras. Those are my questions. <laughs> so if you think this is a cool idea, fill out the form. Let me know what you think. If you don't think it's a cool idea, send me a, put a comment down below that you think this is a bad idea because that's important feedback too. I need to know that people think that this is a terrible idea and they'd rather just go buy from Indie Dyers instead of have random Indie Dyers all intermingled. I think there might be some other questions on the form, so <laughs> go look. Um, yeah, I would really, really appreciate any feedback you have about this at all. So in the comments, in the forum, wherever you think it's appropriate to give me your feedback, please do. And I will see you soon. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Mm -hmm.